So in the last uh, video that I just posted, that was a review of a novel by William Trevor, William Trevor called The Story of Lucy Galt. This one is another uh, novel by William Trevor. This one is called uh, Love in Summer. I read this one uh, quickly after finishing uh, my first one by uh, Trevor, which was The Story of Lucy Galt, published in 2002. While I didn't find Love and Summer to be as spectacular, it was still wonderful. And uh, it treats many of the same themes uh, very well. Uh, the irrevocability of, of decisions, both made and unmade, uh, sort of forced conformity to social standards and institutional decline with the same sensitivity and honesty that they were dealt with in uh, Lucy Galt. While we usually associate funerals and death with separation, uh, Love in Summer, in Love in Summer, William Trevor's 14th novel, he shows how they can just as easily lead to passionate connections between people and between characters. Uh, on the death of Mrs. Eileen Connolty, the young amateur artist Florian Kildary intends to photograph the funeral procession through the town of Wraithmoy. He stops to ask a young woman named Ellie Dillahan for directions, and they're instantly mutually taken with one another. Ellie, a foundling raised from childhood in a nearby convent, has been taken in as a housekeeper and was eventually married to Mr. Dillahan, a kindly, older, loving farmer with good intentions, but whose slow, regular life fails to satisfy the young Ellie. Uh, the death of his first wife and their child is a horrible, uh, in a horrible farm accident, also constantly haunts him. During their first encounter, Florian is taken with Ellie's innocence, and she's drawn to him because he stands for something or anything outside of the existence that she has on this small, tiny farm with her elderly husband and takes her outside of uh, the life of sort of claustrophobic daily routine. Florian idles for much of the book, uh, occupying his parents' house while he waits for a buyer to appear, all the while thinking about his meetings with Ellie and his parents' and his parents' artistic pasts. Over time, they meet more and more, and they begin a love affair. He eventually tells her that after selling the house, he plans to move to Scandinavia. Miss Connolty, the daughter of the deceased woman whose funeral originally brought Florian and Ellie together, matches what she perceives to be Florian's encroachment on Ellie's life with suspicion. Um, this is Connolty and a curious verbose man by the name of Orpen Wren uh, cast a shadow over the relationship of Ellie and, Ellie and Florian. Uh, in the middle of the night, Ellie slips out of the farmhouse to meet Florian on the road to give him one last embrace before assuming the only choice she ever really had which was to live out the rest of her life with her harmless, unexciting, damaged husband. It might just be the sentimentalist in me, but uh, Trevor really captures the, the poignancies and the ambiguities in life with just such a, a wonderful tenderness that um, I really enjoyed this book. He can catch those feelings that pass between uh, quick silences in conversations that we so often look over and has a, a really beautiful way of making even the most pedestrian occurrence seem highly poetic. I uh, bought Fools of Fortune and Death in Summer shortly after I finished this, um, which are two of his other novels, and uh, will eventually look forward to reading those too, and uh, hopefully reviewing them. Uh, for those new to Trevor, I recommend the story of Lucy Galt uh, his second to last novel, uh, at least uh, as of a year or so ago, and probably the best work of fiction that I read in 2011. Um, if you're interested in Lucy Galt, go watch that review, which is the one uh, posted immediately before this, like I said at the top of the video. But <clears throat> this is uh, also not, not a bad novel if you're 
um, looking for something like this. Love in Summer by William Trevor. 